what's going on YouTube? Let's let's knock this out, man. Terrence Crawford dominates out classes, um, schools. Uh, Victor Postal becoming the uh, 140 WBO, and now the you no know, new WBC and uh, Ring Magazine uh, 140 uh, champion. So. Um, man, it's just probably gonna be a long one, man. It's probably gonna be a rant. Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to make this one short. But hey, man, if you look at, you know, I, I'll just keep it like this, man. Just look at my prediction video on this fight. If you hear me for the first time, man, just look at my prediction uh, prediction video. Um, also check out like B Marsh boxing. We was like on point. You know what I'm saying? We're just like on point. You know, saying the same thing. Um, as far as like, you know, the breakdown of the fight or whatnot. And then not only that, um, not exposing, uh, Victor Postal, but, um, kind of like undressing him, you know what I'm saying? Taking like, um, undressing all the positives that he was bringing into the fight, a la the jab, you know, his height and, and, and whatnot, you know? And, um... I can take credit away from his wins versus South, uh, um, what was it, uh, Salik Aiden, uh, Salik Aiden, oh man, I, I, I don't know how I'm messing up on that name, but, um, Salk Agdeen, whatever his name was, and then, uh, or is, excuse me, or, uh, Lucas Matisse, you know, just addressing those matches and what type of fighter he was fighting, and just, you know, expanding upon, um, how, you know, Terrence Crawford is a dis different fighter. So go, go ahead, take out that prediction video, man, if you haven't heard it. But anyway, um, getting to some of my points, man, these nuggets, man, that I wanted to just point out, you know, about the fight and everything like that. Uh, if you saw the fight, you saw that Terrence Crawford, you know, dominated or whatever, it's, it's set in stone, what was done and do is done. Um, Victor Postal... No shots out to him. He did come forward, made very, um, made a lot of uh, disparaging uh, remarks about Terrence Crawford af after the fight. That's unfortunate. You would think the uh, Victor Postal might be more of a uh, a classy fighter, you know, classy guy, being that uh, he's very cool, calm, and collective. Um, hence his, um, you know, his uh, boxing name, you know, nicknamed the, the Iceman and stuff like that. You think you have a little bit more in integrity, um, a little, little more sportsmanship. But maybe he was upset because uh, Terrence Crawford kind of uh, showed him up uh, a few times in the ring. So maybe he was uh, uh, not only frustrated but upset that Terrence Crawford was showing him up, you know. A little, a little bit of showboating, you know what I'm saying? So, but... Um, other than that, you know that that's on him. That's how he felt at at the time, and so maybe maybe he sings a different tune, uh, maybe uh, a week later or maybe a couple months down the line, or maybe never. So um, yeah, man, into this fight, man, I was wondering why Victor Postal was attacking. You know what I'm saying? I thought about. I was like, why did this guy attack? Why did this guy attack? And my assessment uh, in, in my prediction video, I was thinking, you know, I was really thinking Terrence Crawford was going to attack. I always imagined Terrence Crawford attacking, uh, you know, uh, Victor Postal for some reason. You know, that's what that you know that's that's how I imagined the fight going because you know Victor Postal, you know, likes to throw out his jab and you know. Uh, Fight on the back foot, you know, circle guys. That's the guys that are attacking him. But I guess he decided to be the bull instead of the matador because um, he is much bigger um, as, as far as height and having reach than uh, Terrence Crawford. Then I started thinking, I was like, you know what? Uh, I, I think I know why he did that. For one, He's probably thinking to himself, uh, the game plan is, with, you know, uh, Freddie Roach is his trainer. He's probably thinking, Freddie Roach probably thinking, looking at this, you know, it's like, we're not going to outbox Terrence Crawford, you know. So one thing we do have is, um, you know, height, which probably be like size. And let's see if we can, 
you know, pressure Terrence Crawford. Okay, now that's probably what Fred, Freddie Roach was was thinking. Whether uh, Victor Postal was all in on that game plan, uh, I don't think so. Because I'm thinking Freddie Roach was thinking, like, man, let's pressure Crawford and let's get Crawford in an exchange. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's apply like let's let's apply a lot of educated pressure. Okay, and let's get Terrence Crawford to uh fight in exchange. And I'm I'm thinking um Roach was thinking that Victor Postal he's got his jab, you know what I'm saying? He's gonna use his jab and he's gonna use a lot of volume punching. So he's gonna use the jab to get inside and do a lot of volume punching. Um will apply with a lot of pressure on Terrence Crawford. And the reason I say that the uh it's a good approach for one, um that's Pretty much all he had going for him was his jab, and that he is a combination puncher. Okay, other than that, he didn't have anything else that was that was gonna uh, change uh, in the fight. And in saying that, that Terrence Crawford was the one who has uh, is the one who has the most tools. You know what I'm saying? So Victor Postal was already outgunned. You get what I'm saying? So it was like um um. If a samurai swordman was out, outnumbered, would he be better off defending, or would he be better off doing a uh, sneak attack? You know, like a surprise attack. Even though it was only him and it was like five other dudes, he'd probably be better off like going kamikaze style and just attacking instead of just trying to sit there and defend. And which, uh, to me, in my opinion, was a, a good game plan. It's just that Victor Postal wasn't all in, and he didn't implement it into um the later rounds like the the eleventh and the twelfth, okay? That's the only time I really thought he tried to let his hands go. Even even then when it was desperation time, um he was still hesitant. Okay? Now um in saying that man and saying that I um it, it just exacerbated the flaws of uh, Victor Postal, him doing that, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, he wasn't all in. In the third round, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's go back to the first round. First round, first round, um, when Postal came out and attacked Terrence Crawford, Terrence Crawford was orthodox. Uh, that wasn't working, like, right off the bat. I don't think that was working. Um, I believe Postal was able to get a few good shots on Terrence Crawford was uh, uh and him being able to apply that pressure was kind of sizing him up, you know, almost uh, getting his back on back on the ropes. You know what I'm saying? That orthodox stance that wasn't working for Crawford. Crawford couldn't operate. Before you know it, he's in a southpaw stance. As soon as he in south, as soon as he gets in that southpaw stance, you know things start changing up, man. But nothing changed with uh Victor Postal. Uh, as far as that that jab, man, I was saying it, man. The guys in the YTBC, they were saying like, man, you know, they, I think they were agreeing with me, and other people were noticing that like this dude's jab ain't the jab that everybody think it is. You know, it's not an authoritative jab, and to um to hit to hit to hit that home, what I was saying about his jab, and you know that he pushes off with of the jab is not an authoritative jab. He just paused with the jab and stuff like that to set up his combinations and stuff like that. Freddie Roach was telling him, was like, man, like, uh, right, I think it was right in the third round or in the mention, uh, not in the, in the mention, I'm not, I'm not saying that right, but uh, the rest period and stuff like that. I think it was like the second or going into the third round or after the third round. Freddie Roach is in his corner talking about, man, you got to sharpen up those jabs, man. It's like, stop throwing those lazy jabs. Because as soon as you start jabbing, uh, Crawford in the ortho, uh, the uh, southpaw stance was able to c- come over the top with those right hooks. You know what I'm saying? Uh, which I mentioned in the video. I was like, man, he's going to come over the top with those right hooks. You know what I'm saying? Before you know it, and he's going to get old boy out of there. I thought he was going to win by knockout. But, um, yeah, man. So, in the fifth round, like I was saying... Uh, Terrence Crawford hops on uh, Victor Postal, gets a knockdown, flash knockdown, uh, right hook, man, right hook, knocks Victor Postal down. And what I also mentioned 
uh, to some of the guys in the hangouts and stuff like that. I was talking about uh, Victor Postle's right hand, how he don't throw a straight right. He sort of like leans in, like his whole body falls in with that right. And so he's following Terrence Crawford in the fifth, right? Right after the second knockdown, he's following him, you know, try to get a little payback. He throws that right hand. And then Terrence Crawford throws the, uh, the left check hook and then stuns him again, you know, gets him down again, man. And so, anyway, uh, the, the the further hit home on that jab, uh, again, Freddie Roach is saying, like, man, you have to throw a sharp jab. And in the seventh round, he did throw a sharp jab. It was good, man. He threw a str- he led with the right, then he threw a straight jab. Like, it was a fast jab. It was an authoritative jab by Victor Postal, and he was able to hit Terrence Crawford in the mouth. You know, he got some good punches on Terrence Crawford, man. I think I, I forgot what's running. I'm not sure if it was like the six or something like that. He landed a good right hand on Terrence Crawford. It, it shook uh, Terrence Crawford a little bit. But anyway, uh, Victor Postal comes out again right right after the eighth, after getting instructions from um, Freddie Roach. Tries to throw a jab, but it was a lazy jab. It was a half-hearted jab, and there again, man, Terrence Crawford comes right over the top. Now, um, as far as the predictions and everything like that, man, uh, I know this is probably going to be like a long video or whatever like that, but um, I just think I just hit home on, um, you know, the fight in general and who is actually Victor Postal, you know, as a fighter, you know, good good fighter. Um good performance uh, you know that you know it was a okay it was a good performance that he was wanted to come forward but he's not willing to exchange terrence crawford said it himself as soon as i stepped to him he stepped back he was like i knew from there on this guy didn't want to go in a firefight with me and that was victor postal's only chance man and several times terrence crawford's gotten hurt it, even your yorkers gamboa he, he it was in an exchange, so you gotta catch Terrence Crawford in an exchange, or else you're not gonna beat him. You know, uh, Yuri Yorkins Gamboa. Two other fights I remember. I forgot these guys' names, but Terrence Crawford's on the ropes trying to finish the guys, and the guys were able to catch him in an exchange when he's opening up, cause he has he doesn't have the straightest punches, man. He's fast, but he throws a lot of looping punches. You know, he throws a lot of looping punches. Not all his stuff is sh- uh, straight, you know, down the pipe, <laughs> uh, a la uh, Thomas DeLorme. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was straight down the pipe what he did to him. But, um, yeah, man, uh, the pros, uh, they need to Denier, Timothy Bradley. They spoke highly of him. Um uh, I think a lot of people were shocked because a lot of people had this as a 50-50 fight. In my post, uh, my prediction video, I, I said it was not a 50-50 fight. Uh, I think uh, an, um, Natty Turner, you know, Natty, I think I was go by Nalta, Natty Turner um, in the YTBC. He also uh, took the words right out of my mouth. He said, man, I got like 70, 30. I was like, yeah, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? And then Terrence Crawford pretty much said himself in the, uh, the press conference. He was saying like, man, you know, um, you know, like I beat myself. You know what I'm saying? So I think he, he, he didn't word it correctly, but, you know, I understood what he was saying. I think everybody understood what he was saying, you know, as far as what he was trying to do in the ring. He was, um, you know, he was fighting within himself. You get what I'm saying? It wasn't nothing that Victor Poster was doing. It's, it was all, it all, it was all dictated on what um, Crawford wanted to do. And I was saying that, man. I was like, it's all, it's all about what Crawford wants to do. If Crawford wants to fight, he can fight. If he wants to uh, box, he can box. But um, if he, if he, if he fights, he gives. If he fights or comes forward or just stays on the front foot. Uh, he'll give Victor Postal more of an opportunity to counter, and that's what he was saying when he uh, stepped to uh, Victor Postal. He said, like, all Victor Postal wanted me to do was come towards him, you know, like a raging bull. I'm paraphrasing. but And he wanted to counter, pretty much. That's all he wanted to do was counter. Okay, I didn't know this, but Timothy Bradley said Crawford was beating him up in sparring, I guess, earlier in his career. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I guess Timothy Bradley had... So, I don't think we're going to see Timothy Bradley versus Terrence Crawford anytime soon. 
um, um, I lost my, tr- oh, yeah, 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 Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao, um, a lot of people want to see that Manny Pacquiao fight, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see the post-fight interview, man, so I guess he called out Manny Pacquiao, a lot of, I guess a lot of people mentioned it, and then I think Bob Aaron wanted that a, a while ago, he wanted Terrence Crawford versus Manny Pacquiao, you know what I'm saying, so he wanted this, this Manny Pacquiao fight for a while, so, Looks like Bob Arum's happy, so I think he's gonna try his best to make Terrence Crawford happy and put him on, uh, you know, um, get him some more fights, especially up on uh, HBO. Then you got the um, his deal with the, you know, the PBC series. But I think he's gonna try to keep him busy. He said that too, man. I'm trying to keep him happy because, you know, my fighter wants fights and stuff like that. He was just referring to Terrence Crawford, so. Um, as far as a guy that's complaining about not having enough fights and stuff like that. That's why stuff is on pay-per-view. But, yeah, man. Um, I think Carcino had, like, a 50-50 fight. He said Terrence Crawford was going for the knockout. Um, I don't know about that, but it really doesn't matter anyway. At the end of the day, Terrence Crawford takes care of business. Uh, I hope I touched based on bases on everything, man. If I forgot about it, man, I'd probably like say it in one of the hangouts, man. You know what I'm saying? Maybe just EJ Boxing Lives. That's probably that's the only hangout I go to. <laughs> so, yeah, man. Um, I'll catch y'all later, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. All right. Hey, yeah, 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 man. Uh, one more thing, man. Uh, subscribe, share the video, click like, or whatever. But all right, man, I'll catch y'all later. Bye.